Celebrity photographer Randall Slavin began photographing superstars from Charlize Theron to Channing Tatum long before they made it big. In a new coffee table book, he opens up his personal collection of snapshots from back in the day, and it's great to have him here. There are some amazing photographs Thank in this you, book. Thank you, Margaret. So, Thank you. You know, that, first of all, you didn't really set out to photograph celebrities, no, though, right? No, no, no. I was just really shooting my friends, you know. I was just, <laughs> I had a camera, and these were just the people we were hanging out with, you know. They weren't celebrities at the time. Right. They, they became celebrities. But you chose at least the, su you know, certain subjects, and so you must have been attracted to something about their charisma, their artistry, something well, I mean, about them. They were really good looking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that helps. <laughs> Um, that, that's a thing in Hollywood. I've heard yeah, you know, they like that. There's a lot of really good-looking people who yes. want to be actors. It's Weirdly, interesting. Weirdly, it yeah. happens that way. So you decided to open up your personal collection. Yeah. These aren't things that you've been exhibiting. No, no. They were just, you know, I had these boxes in my closet that my <laughs> friends knew about, and they'd right. come over and they'd rifle through them and stuff. But, like, it wasn't anything I planned on doing anything with, but so much time had passed, and it just felt like enough time had passed that they had had not they became interesting and and people who were in them all of a sudden became super successful and we're seeing some of them now this yeah is, yeah how, he's how, done well he's, he's done, done okay well. i mean you know he's done well yeah they Look did at well these guys. they did well they've done well too how young were they at this point i think shirley's was 22 that was at oh her 22nd gosh. birthday and i think leo was like 20 two as well 21 something like that is this Charlize also that is yeah at a mexican restaurant <laughs> yeah had there been a margarita a uh, numerous margaritas numerous margaritas okay no one goes to el compadre and says i'll have the water of course not that's crazy that would be just crazy talk um so you've got a lot of great stories mm -hmm. but there's one about scott wheeland who's passed and is one of my favorite vocalists of all yeah times. that's one of my favorite pictures i love you know because it's a side of scott that people don't really see often you know, it's with his young daughter, Lucy, and it was just at like a Memorial Day barbecue. And it's just a side of Scott that people don't see. And we know about the tragedy of him and the troubles that he's gone through. Right. But like, I look at that picture and it just warms my heart because I know there was that side of Scott that his family saw and not a lot of people know about. So that's one of my favorite pictures in the book. Um, I really love that. And I love that, you know, sometimes we see whether they're professional athletes yeah. or superstars, we see this, it's not a facade, but it's just one side sure, of a of human course. being. And yeah. it's, it's nice to get to know the rest of them and to give them credit for the fullness of their lives yeah. in that way. Um, so there's another story about Counting Crows and Jennifer Aniston has to do with Counting Crows song. So oh, tell us that. Yeah, this, this photo was, uh, there was this house that our friends Sam and Tracy lived on, on the street called Hillside in the Hills, and uh, it was just one of those houses for one summer everyone hung out at. That sounds fun. It was really great. <laughs> it, was like, it was just, you know, you, in your 20s, you have this house that you all gather at, and that was the house, and many late nights there, and uh, lots of drunken revelry, and then Adam was, <laughs> wrote a song during that period, uh, Long December, which became a big hit, and then the song, he says, drove up to Hillside Manor which is that's house. that house and that's that patio up in the hills. They Simon were happy Tracy's. and relaxed. It was, great. it was great. You know, she had just exploded on Friends and his record was the biggest record in America. And it was just, it was just, you know, I've been very fortunate to be in the right place at the right time. That's so interesting. Yeah. So who was like the first celebrity portrait that you took? <sighs> the first celebrity portrait I guess I ever took, I used to be an actor before I was a photographer and I was doing a little movie called uh, Legends of the Fall. With I Brad. remember this. Yeah. This was yeah, peak a, Brad Pitt. It was peak Brad Pitt. Yeah. And um, I had a very small part in it, but like I had a little camera with me and I took mm -hmm. a picture of Aiden Quinn. I guess that would be my first like celebrity portrait. As and did I you take it as a him. candid, or did you have him pose? What no, do you he do? was just standing there, and I just sort of took a picture of him looking at his script, and that would be, I guess, my first like celebrity portrait. I there took. are so many pictures that look to me like you've just captured life, and mm -hmm. I think that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, were you doing this sort of on the fly as you as you um, saw these things, or or did you really think, okay, I'm going to wait for this moment? No, I mean, how do you get this kind of stuff? Is what I'm asking. I, I just think you know, like. Uh, you know, you're at a party. I had, you know, you shoot your friends and you shoot your friends doing things and um, it wasn't really planned and I wasn't waiting. I just took pictures of things that were interesting and right. people doing fun things and um, yeah, it wasn't. Tell us a bit, it, well, obviously Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, that was a very young Reese. Because she's 14. Uh, 
she was very young. That's my friend Eddie. And uh, <laughs> we were backstage at a Counting Crows concert, actually, at the Wiltern there. And we were just hanging out, waiting for the band to come out. And um, I took that picture. I feel like when we look at our own photographs, mm -hmm. or we, you know, I was doing that as I was thinking about you. I was looking at photographs your I book? take. Oh, my book would be really bad <laughs> because I'm always. Everybody's always standing there, or mm -hmm. we've got the you know the new pose where everybody's, you uh, know, yeah, this kind sure. of thing. And so I was just thinking about the way you've captured life and the mm -hmm. way you've approached this. And I'm wondering if there's anything you could distill for, for those of us who are photographing everything yes. now to do better. Yes. There's a great quote by um, the legendary photographer Robert Kappa. If your pictures aren't good enough, you're not close enough. Okay. That's a good Get tip. Get closer. Get closer. Because uh, people take pictures of everything and they want to just see you. They mm -hmm. just want to see your face. So if your pictures aren't good enough, you're not close enough. You also, it seems like if that picture of Reese, mm -hmm. for example, you don't have everybody looking at the camera. No. They're not looking in no, the same direction. No, None no. None of that's, that's, that's going on. Th that's the worst. People, this, is, this is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst. When people like have something happening and they're like, get together. Right. And smile. Look yeah, this way. Yeah, get together. So everyone gets together. And for some reason, people put their heads I together. Do that. I for do some it. reason, they and need I to put their heads together. And I also stick my elbow out like it's a yeah. shanty tune. I better? don't know what I'm doing. Just take the picture of the people. Yes. Or here's here's the other secret. Okay. You take it. Listen you say up. you say get together, and you take the one picture everyone expects, mm -hmm. and then you say something funny. And everyone laughs and forgets about it, and that's and the picture. And then you take more pictures. And, yeah, ex and I keep, love that. Keep taking pictures, I'm which you get can do now this. because it's digital and it doesn't cost anything. Yeah, exactly. In the old days, it's just you, did, you know, it was film and well, getting back. In the old days, photography and... used to be expensive. Photography is very simple now for very all simple. of us, and so we just need to. We want to get better at it. Thank you so much. Oh, my the pleasure. book is beautiful. Thank I hope you. people will go get it because it's. I just, do too. It's a treasure. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you do. Okay, when we come back, a Seattle milliner who's one of a kind. Hats have people turning their heads. That is next.